All right, guys, today we're going to preview the Arkansas 2021 quarterback competition as, as spring ball has just kind of gotten underway at Arkansas, and they are looking to replace quarterback Felipe Franks, who did a great job for him last year and allowed for these two younger quarterbacks to develop and kind of uh, just learn and take notes under uh, uh, Felipe Franks <clears throat> and just kind of learn that new offense that was being implemented. And so I think this is great for both Malik Hornsby and for K.J. Jefferson. We're going to dive into some film from both and kind of uh, c compare the two that they're still Similar quarterbacks, but they have differences as well. Uh, Malik Hornsby just is, is such a dynamic athlete, and KJ Jefferson's a great athlete himself. But they're they're different athleticisms, if you will, and you can obviously see that from film. Uh, and again, all we have from Malik Hornsby's film is just his high school film, but it's still going to give us a good uh, understanding of his talent and what he brings to the Arkansas quarterback competition and the Arkansas room in general. And, and then we will watch um, KJ Jefferson start from. Last year in 2020 when they played Missouri, he played a hell of a game and they came up just short, uh, but still played great and demonstrated a lot of good things, a lot of good tools and should get the Arkansas fan base excited. I think the biggest thing for both of them is they didn't have to play last year. They were able to learn and grow under Fleet by Franks. Yes, KJ Jefferson started against Missouri, but that was towards the end of the year and he was able to implement the offense well. So I think regardless what happens with the quarterback competition in Arkansas, they are in great hands and regardless who wins, that quarterback group is in a healthy position because of those two guys and yes I know there are more quarterbacks in that position that could always or in that uh, in that quarterback room in Arkansas and, you know someone could always surprise us but right now according to what we're seeing and just uh, what we know it's, it's kind of a between those two guys and um, I think Arkansas fans should get excited so we're going to go ahead and watch some film breakdown of KJ Jefferson against Missouri then we're going to watch a few plays of Malik Hornsby from high school, and he played in the same uh, high school district I played in years ago. I'm a lot older than I look, um, but that's not destined to hear nor there. But again, this is a very talented uh, high school district that he played in. So we're going to take some. Uh, we're going to see what he brings to the table, and then we're going to kind of get some quotes from a great article I was able to read um, about the spring practice that has already uh, kind of gone on there. So let's go ahead and stop listening to me, or at least stop watching me talk, and let's go ahead and just dive into. So this, this is a good example of KJ. And in the pocket, his ability to read the defense, see the uh, kind of pre-snap look. It looks like they're going to be bringing five-ish uh, or six players. They end up only bringing three and drop into coverage. You have a lot of zone going on back here. And Cage's ability to see this look adjust after the snap and he was able to throw a, a very good ball into tight coverage here we're going to see the safety bite on a different route and he kind of throws it right where the safety was uh so we're going to watch this play and just this is a great example of just arkansas's unique uh, offense sometimes they'll spread you out while they'll have multiple receivers outside the numbers uh top of the screen bottom of the screen which is a very wide field but then they also will bring you close here so uh they do a great job just kind of disguising what they want to do through different uh pre-snap looks let's go ahead and watch this play so let me bring three good job in the pocket watch throws it right where the receiver was the receiver bites in on this dig route here and kj is throwing it to this receiver here right where the safety was Awesome play. Let's watch the end zone angle behind the center angle next, and we're going to really be able to see it. So again, it looks like they're going to bring pressure. Only brings three. Does a great job in the pocket. Fires a rocket. Boom. We see the safety comes in here. But if he would have played it, you know, correctly, or then you know, this is an interception or potentially a blow up shot here. But he, uh, KJ is able to use his eyes to bring the safety here, and just a great job overall uh, by KJ Jefferson. So here's a great example of KJ Jefferson's ability to escape the pocket and his and his ability to just demonstrate his athleticism on this specific play. And uh, why it's easy just to just to look at this play from afar and say, oh, he's athletic, he can break the pocket, he can hurt you with his legs. That's true. But let's watch this pocket presence here, and he does exactly what we're taught to as a quarterback whenever someone is coming from your backside unblocked you are taught to spin out as opposed to it's the exact opposite when someone's coming from your front side you kind of uh, taught taught to take this hitch step and then go around so we're going to see great pocket presence he spins out the last second and gains a big 20 25 plus yard gain against missouri just so going to watch this play here comes a blitz boom Spins out the last second. We're going to see all this open grass he has to, to run to, and we're going to show. We're going to see a good uh, sign of athleticism, and then acceleration right through that pocket right there. Great play by KJ Jefferson. Let's go ahead and watch the end zone angle here. We will see it as well. Good elusiveness. Smart in the pocket. Sees him coming. Spins out the last second. That's awesome. 
That has this great feel in the pocket and shows his athleticism once he gets outside the pocket. Good stuff from KJ. So here's a great example of KJ Jefferson and his receiver being on the same page in something that might look pretty basic and easy from a, a, a normal you know, spectator's point of view like us, but when you watch it deeper, you see that they're on the same page and that without this kind of experience and without you know the, the reps I'm sure they've had in practice and just throughout the, the year, um, this might not be as easy. So we're going to see a quick slant. Um, KJ throws it in the zone here. We're going to see the receiver kind of slow down. So both of them on the same page. The receiver was full speed, and KJ led the receiver as you know you, you do in, against air. That would have been picked or blown up the linebacker, but you're going to see the receiver slightly slow down. KJ has a good feel for the receiver, throws it in the space. The receiver catches it um, and is able to get up field for a good gain. And this is another good example of Arkansas's unique Offense, we're going to see the, the field is spread. We have a receiver outside the numbers, and then the uh, field side receiver is basically on the numbers. We'll call them slightly inside, but regardless, they're spread, so there's going to be space open, and that's what kind of Arkansas wants to attack. They want to attack space, so let's go ahead and watch this play. We're going to see he's in press coverage, but he bails out pretty quickly, which is going to allow the zone uh, to open up right here. Boom. Watch him kind of slow down. Like If he would have led him here, then that would have been uh, right into this backer zone. He slows down. Awesome. And then he gets upfield. It looks simple, but plays like that, you know, can, can really separate quarterbacks from each other. We're going to watch it here from the end zone angle. You see, he gets, gets, the, gets the play from the sideline, as I know Arkansas fans got used to last year. And let's go ahead and watch this here. Again, looks simple. But tough than it looks. Boom. If he would have led him, he leads him right here. The receiver slows down. He, he's able to hit the receiver on his shoulder pads. Good play. So here's another example of KJ being able to fit the ball into to a pretty tight coverage uh, here and just kind of throwing it to where space is. We're going to see him. Uh, it's a design rollout. He rolls out to his left, and he's throwing this out here where it's going to be 10 yards down the field. Safety is playing off coverage here, so he does have that. But what's impressive is just his ability to throw it over uh, this backer's head who's going to be out here in coverage. We're going to see this uh, receiver kind of clears out the corner. And uh, the, this slot receiver is able to get space here, but KJ is able to go on the run and throw it above this um, this backer and before the safety kind of can kind of come in. So I, I've been impressed with KJ's ability to fit the ball into uh, different space, into different coverages on the run and in the pockets. Let's go ahead and watch this play here. Rolls out, rolls out. Ball is released. We're going to see he's able to throw it over this backer here, and he's anticipating the receiver coming back here. Just a great play. Uh, overall, that's end up that is a first down. This is a big first down for Arkansas too, as they were driving down the field towards the end of the game. We're going to watch the end zone angle, watch him get his hips and shoulders turned around right there, and he has people in his face. Good job, KJ. So here's a great example of uh, showing Malik Hornsby's um, just arm strength and his ability to uh, make any th any throw on the field. So he's going to be making a quick play action here. He's going to stop and rip it across the field. 30 plus yards downfield, maybe even longer than that, depending how bad my math is, but it's a cross field and, and he has some juice on it. And so this just shows his ability that, hey, he can make any throw um, that the coaches will ask of him. He has a strong arm. He's able to push it downfield. And then the next clip we're going to see just his <laughs> crazy athleticism and his ability to break tackle after tackle and, and then uh, hightail it to the end zone. So we're going to watch two clips back to back here. First, we're going to demonstrate his arm strength. Stops from the 20 yard line all the way past the 50, so it's over 30 yards in the air on a rope. That's an awesome throw. And the, the next clip is going to, oops, sorry, this is going to be a quick fade here. That's my apologies. And this next clip is going to show his crazy athleticism. Watch me tackle as he breaks. Again, it's high school, but take it with, take it with a grain of salt. But still, this is this, this shows the, the uh, talent and the skill that he's bringing to. Uh, Arkansas and, and you know what they have at the quarterback position then he just breaks it for a touchdown the rest of the play so this is going to show his dynamic speed his pure athleticism and his ability to pull away from defenders here again high school but still these are very good athletes he's playing against uh, and from uh, the, the Fort Bend ISD where I actually played many years ago um, but that's not that's neither here nor there but we're going to watch his uh, track speed and his ability just to pull away from defenders let's go ahead and watch this here this is just an awesome element he's bringing to the the Arkansas quarterback room. Watch him just pull away. Just pull, just pull, just pull. Mm, that's impressive. That's track speed right there. That's awesome. A lot of good talent there. 
So here's a quick article from Saturday Down South by Michael Wayne Bratton, and they, of course, do a great job covering all SEC, and just uh, uh, Michael Wayne Bratton does a good job just with SEC football, and they put a lot of good quality content. They got a good you know, podcast and just a... Uh, just, just, just good quality SEC content. So if you haven't heard them, go check them out, SaturdayDownSouth.com. But anyways, uh, here's an article over the Arkansas quarterbacks um, during the, the, the first practice of the spring. And, and right now it looks like, uh, according to uh, Coach Pittman, that they are going to spot everything in his words. And uh, to start to, to start out, uh, KJ will be with – KJ is a starter and Malik Hornsby with the twos right now. We can kind of see this quote right here. Uh, but both guys seem to be doing a very good job. We go scroll down a little bit further in the article. Uh, we get reference Malik Hornsby had a good throw down downfield in two-minute drill, took the five-yard line, and then we also get praise from Jeffers, uh, from uh, to Jefferson. Uh, everyone's liking what they see across the board. KJ Jefferson is looking good as well today. So just a quick article showing that hey, both quarterbacks dropped to a good start as of now. If we go back up here, uh, if we go back up here. Um, the same reps as what KJ would, but right now KJ is the starter, so starting off spring, it's like KJ's job. But again, it's going to be a healthy, good competition, awesome quarterbacks. And again, to find more good SEC content, just go check uh, Saturday Down South and Michael Wayne Brown again again with this article. So again, just a few clips that demonstrate what both KJ Jefferson and Malik Hornsby are bringing to this quarterback competition. Just the quarterback room in general, there's a spot for both of them. I think both are extremely talented guys, and I think Arkansas fans should be uh, pretty excited for whoever starts at the quarterback position uh, for tw in 2021. But something to keep an eye on in the spring. It's going to be good competition. Again, we like both guys. And uh, I'll go ahead and link that that article down in the, I guess, comment section or the, the whatever section is called on YouTube uh, so y'all can find that if you want to read more into it. Uh, again, if y'all like any quarterback related content please consider giving us a subscription if you like this video just click like if you have any comments about it or suggestions or want us to do more videos throughout spring let us know and we will uh, you can find any quarterback related content on this page whether it is quarterback competition quarterback film breakdown quarterback just content general interviews or just kind of educational uh, quarterback content what we look for in quarterbacks how we screen our quarterbacks how we assess them and then what we uh, choose to do in the weight room and then on the field that will help them get to where they need to be so we have a bunch of different topics we cover again if you like that type of stuff consider giving us a subscription if not well you know thanks for checking us out anyways and we hope to continue to get better at this channel and we'll see you next time